Dear MEP Rodriguez Ramos, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, European Mental Health Week is a prominent date in my calendar, and I warmly thank Mental Health Europe and the Renew Europe Group for organising this important event. In these dark times, we need to shine a spotlight on young people's mental health. Millions of civilians have fled due to Russian's aggression against Ukraine, leaving behind their homes, livelihoods and loved ones. Many are vulnerable, women, children and elderly. I will never forget visiting a refugee reception centre in Poland recently, where thousands of people, many of them children, were sitting in silence experiencing a collective trauma after suddenly having to flee. A kind of trauma we can barely imagine, but we can certainly help support their mental health needs. From the very first moment, we have been in close contact with the Ukrainian Ministry of Health, WHO, Mental Health Europe and others to better respond to the complex challenges on the ground. Under the EU for Health programme, we have mobilised 9 million euros for the International Federation of Red Cross Societies and non-governmental organisations to provide direct trauma treatment and mental health support. Training on migration and health, including mental health, is available in many languages on our health policy platform and the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control website. Furthermore, we have launched a call for proposals for NGOs to support Ukrainian refugees' mental health. The Commission has provided 7 million euros in support of two major mental health actions by Member States. They focus on preventing depression and suicide and on strengthening community-based services. These initiatives are additional to our ongoing and planned action to address the COVID-19 pandemic's impact on mental health. And only last week, the 2021 EU Health Award rewarded community-based initiatives in this particular area, paying tribute to many exemplary actions and actors. Looking ahead, a 1 million euros grant for the WHO under this year's EU for Health Work programme will help countries build capacity through national and cross-national education and training. Mental health features prominently in our new Healthier Together initiative to help countries fight non-communicable diseases. Already this year, we are focusing on young people's needs because we know it is of absolute importance to shed ample light on their mental well-being. Last year's UNICEF report on the state of the world's children warned that the pandemic's effects on children and young people could last for years. And in response, last February, we launched a call for proposals to support the mental health of vulnerable children and young people. 8 million euros will be divided equally between two best practices. And I'm glad that this flagship initiative coincides with the European Year of Youth. Dear friends, let's remember this year's European Mental Health Week theme and keep on speaking up for mental health. Let's keep speaking up for mental well-being of our youth because mental health matters. Thank you.